So, it's been a little while since you last heard me. Ah, uh, October's been a bit hectic. Ah, <laughs> uh, this here is pattern. The prompt pattern, which was day four. As I'm recording this, this is day 31, so today is Halloween. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I still really like this piece. I had a lot of fun drawing all those peonies and yeah, I, I, I thought about that design just a couple of days before October started. And I thought it would be a perfect fit for the prompt. And I'm here struggling with ink. I finally managed to find an ink that actually worked for me. Which was the Liquitex Carbon Black, I believe. Uh, acrylic ink. So anyway, I've not done a proper introduction yet. So, hi. Um, I hope you're doing well. I hope you've got a cup of tea or coffee or whatever beverage you feel like. And please enjoy some of the process videos I took over the course of the past month. And here we go with Crown. Uh, the footage of this one is definitely a bit faster compared to the other ones because my first attempt I really didn't like it <laughs> just give up no. but I decided that, yeah I'm going to persevere and just line it and hope for the best but it did not fix it at all so I think I added a couple of washes and then I decided yeah it does not look like anything compared to the sketch it just missed the idea completely, so I decided to redo it. So those are the last moments and there we go. I'm using a light box and so so I outlined the sketch I had in my sketchbook in Procreate, then I put it in the light box app and then I translated it onto the paper, hoping that this will bring me closer to the original idea I had. So here you can see me outlining the eye on the tracing paper because it's like <laughs> copy and paste but in a traditional sense which yeah that that's one of the biggest advantages of doing digital art is that you can just copy and paste or create brushes that will draw the whole twig for you in one go <laughs> but I, I'm not saying that digital art is easier it's not it just sometimes you can be more efficient with it and save some time while with traditional media you don't get that luxury unless you do some weird stuff but here i've been trying to mix a nice sort of sepia shade of black with the inks i had so i mixed dilla Rowney sepia and black <laughs> and it, it, still I, I wasn't a big fan it was close to the shade I liked, but just the handling of the ink was not great. So here, here we're going with scaffold. And I had this idea in my sketchbook for almost a year now. 
but I don't think I executed the way that I first had in mind. I don't think it's about bad artwork at all. I think it's interesting, just not the thing that I saw in my head. So there are so many pieces that I would absolutely love to redo in colour. But I'm not sure if I'm up to the right skill level to improve on them. But this is definitely one of them, one of those pieces that I would like to have another chance at. Which is fine, this, if you're making art you don't get one attempt at a piece. Unless I suppose you sculpt in marble, then yeah, that's <laughs> not as easy as just grabbing another piece of paper, sheet of paper and redrawing the thing. Yeah, it's it's definitely a simpler design. I still really like it. So here I'm working on Guide, which was one of the pieces that people seem to like the most. It's actually one of the prints I offered for Patreon, because uh, for the month of October I decided that people can just choose whichever print they want from the smaller selection. And yeah, I'm really proud of this one, even though I was struggling a little bit with the wolf. but. Yeah, just painting fur in ink is just not a thing that I enjoy. I, I don't think it really works well, so I just prefer painting a darker wash in gouache and then adding the lighter values on top to imitate the fur because it just builds up so much better. Also, by the way, this is my original character, Ella's Roll the one that I got my account name for, from and I absolutely adore drawing her I just oh, wavy hair wavy long hair is just perfect and a cute dress like this and freckles I, this is perfection to me <laughs> but essentially I created Ezreal to sort of vent through her and create artworks with lots of symbolism to show the struggles I'm going through and basically assign the meaning to in real life events through figures and concepts. So I really like adding some depth to the meaning of a piece that is sort of only known to me but I mean it's not like art has to mean anything but sometimes it's just nice to create something that you can resonate with and something that puts your feelings clearly on the paper it's also aesthetically pleasing to look at so here I try to the wolf and I don't like how it came out it just looks so derpy so here comes the gouache uh, the gouache is way too blue way too cool compared to the warm gray that I use for the washes but yeah that will be it for now and hope to see you soon for more mm -hmm.